Today, we will learn about five senses. Uh -huh. Yummy. Oh, gosh! Be careful when you cross the road! Did you notice? Your sense of sound saved you from a major accident. We have five senses in our body. The five senses interpret the world around us as we can find out and grasp whatever's happening around us. Are you aware just now you have used your five senses? You used your sense of sight while watching the pizza shop. Your sense of taste was used while having the chocolate bar. Our sense of sound was used when you heard the car's horn and became alert. You remember when you were hurt due to the stone. At that time, you used your sense of touch. You were tempted by the smell from the pizza shop. It was your sense of smell. Let's learn about our body parts that help us use our senses. Before that, let's revisit the five senses once again. They are sense of sight, sense of taste, sense of sound, sense of touch, and sense of smell. Cool, you look excited to learn about it. So we will first learn about the sense of sight. Which part of your body lets you read your favorite comic book and check out the beautiful rainbow outside? Which part lets you cry when you're upset? Yes, our eyes. Let's understand how our eyes work. Rays of light enter the eyes through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These rays pass through a gel-like structure called vitreous. These rays are focused on the retina. In the center of the retina, there is the macula that provides us a fine vision. The area of retina that surrounds the macula gives us our side vision or peripheral vision. The retina converts the rays into signals that are set through the optic nerves of the brain. Thus, we are able to see everything around us. <laughs> you are a smart boy. Let's learn about our sense of taste. The organ that is used for taste is our tongue. Let's see how it works. On the surface of the tongue, there is papillae that look like bumps. These are the four types, filiform, foliate, circumvallate, and fungiform. The taste buds are located on the walls of papillae. They have the taste hairs, taste pores, sensory cells, and the nerve fibers. A flavor enters in the taste pore, and sensory cells analyze the flavor and send the information about it to the nerve fibers. They send the details to the brain and thus we know the flavor that we tasted. Now you know how you come to know the flavor of your favorite ice cream. Seems like you're having fun learning this. Now let's learn about the sense of sound. The organ that is used to sense sound is our ears. Let us first understand the structure of ears. Look closely. This is the outer part of the ear called pinna. The canal-like structure is called the external auditory canal. Here is a membrane known as an eardrum. There are three small bones, the anvil, hammer, and stirrup. Together it passes vibrations to cochlea, a spiral-shaped fluid filled in the ear. It is lined with cilium, which moves when it vibrates. This vibration creates nerve impulses, and thus we hear sounds. Now let's understand, how does our sense of touch work? We can feel hot and cold, pain and pressure all through our skin. Now look closely. The skin has many layers. The inner layer is known as dermis. Dermis has so many nerve endings. These nerves can send and receive information into the spinal cord and brain. The spinal cord in the brain tells us what to do next. Touch is actually not a single sensation. It is a mixture of four sensations. The sensation of cold, the sensation of warm, the sensation of pressure that alerts us if the layer is smooth or rough, 
and the sensation of pain. Parts of our body, like fingers, lips, and nose, have more nerve endings, so they are more sensitive. Now it's time to learn about our sense of smell. The organ which is used for smell is our nose. Look closely here. At first, a smell enters in our nose. There is mucus inside the nose where the smell dissolves. Then they stimulate the hair-like endings of our olfactory receptor cells. This process generates a nerve impulse which travels directly to our brain. The part of the brain that processes smells is known as the limbic system. Thus, we smell things. Now you know about the five senses of your body. Let's review a few interesting facts about our five senses. Our tongue can have 2,000 to 8,000 taste buds. Our ears have approximately 24,000 sensory cells. The stirrup is the smallest bone in our body that's in our ears. Our skin is the largest organ we have because it covers our whole body. I hope you liked this video. Stay tuned for more science videos and keep helping others.